welcome to Only Connect. And what is Only Connect? Well, it's a quiz. But really, it's more of a puzzle. It's an enigma wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in a puzzle, wrapped in a quiz. And it's all about making connections, links and connections between disparate elements and clues that might appear not to be connected at all. But they are, and here to tease out those connections tonight, are two excellent teams, the Cricket Supporters and IT Support. See how that works? There is a connection, but not an obvious one. Let's meet the captain of the Cricket Supporters. I'm Ray Eaton, I'm from Paddington in London. I've worked for the Royal Mail for over 20 years, and to my right is Mick. I'm Mick Lancaster, I come from Tolfield in South London, and I'm a retired office worker. And to my left is Stuart. My name's Stuart Solomons, I'm an unemployed administrator from Eltham in Greenwich, in South East London. Cricket supporters, does that mean you don't support a particular team but just the game of cricket in general? We support our counties but we like the England cricket team as well. I think when they do well the whole country feels good about itself like when the England football team does well too. Does that ever actually happen? It happened in 2005 against Australia. Oh did it? Well, it did, yes. That. I must have missed that year. You must have done, yes. Let's move happen. over to the captain of IT support. I'm David Harper, I work in market research and I live in East London. And this is Morag. I'm Morag Trainer. I teach Scottish Gaelic and I live in East London. And this is Robin. I'm Robin Baker. I'm from Hackney and I'm a software engineer. Let me ask you this, Robin. Do you think it would be possible to invent a computer that could beat a human at lateral thinking? <laughs> um, well, I won't be doing it, I don't think. No, not, not for a long time. Not with lateral thinking. It would be scary, that wouldn't it? That would be scary. It would be scary. But let's hope if that computer is ever invented, it'll be a contestant on this show. For now, these are our teams, and only one of them can go through to the quarterfinals. Let's start with round one. Teams are going to be shown a board of Greek letters from Alpha to Zeta. When you select them, they will reveal the first of four clues. I want to know what connects those clues. If you can tell me after seeing just one clue, you'll get five points. Difficult, but possible. If you see two clues, you get three points. Three clues, you get two points. If you see all four clues, you get one point. Unless, that is, you give me the wrong answer or fail to answer in the 40 seconds available, then I'll throw it over to the other team for a possible bonus. Now, IT support, you won the toss, but you've elected to put in the cricket supporters, as it were, to bat. Please choose a Greek letter. Epsilon, please. Epsilon, you're about to see the first of four clues. If you want to see another one, just shout next. And your time starts now. Could be him, could be the yeah. film. Yeah. Yeah. Next, please. Yeah. Colin, Collins. No, Colin. Luton could be for the first. For Bruce, yeah. Go on, next one. Collins. Next, please. Oh, I said they were all written by clergymen. Clergymen. Yeah. Yes. We think they were all written by clergymen. It is that they were all written by clergymen. The fourth clue was through the looking glass by the Reverend Charles Lutwidge. Dodgson, otherwise known by Lewis Carroll. Amazing Grace, written by the Reverend John Newton. Yes, yes. Brewer's Phrase and Fable, Reverend E. Cobham Brewer. And, of course, Reverend W. Audrey wrote Thomas the Tank Engine. So, two points to you, and let's go over to IT Support to pick a letter. Uh, alpha, please. Alpha. First of your clues coming up, and your time starts now. What Any idea? Plant. It's a garden. Okay. Next. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, they can both be women's names. Yeah, next. Next. Oh, poems by Henry Wordsworth Longfellow. Yeah. Possibly. Is he um, um, high author? Yeah. 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 Well, I, I'm not sure about the first two, but it sounds like the third is. Should we go next? Well, Do you want to go next or go for what you said? I'll go next. Let's next. Colinan. Just That's five seconds remaining. Yeah, they're diamonds. They're diamonds. They're diamonds. They're diamonds. They're diamonds. They are all diamonds, including, of course, the Hope Diamond, that one said to be cursed, and the Cullinan Diamond, parts of it are in the Crown Jewels. So one point to you for getting it after four clues. And back to the cricket supporters to pick a letter. Gamma, please. Gamma. Now, this is a musical question. Instead of seeing the clues, you're going to hear them, but it works just the same. Shout next if you want to hear another one. Your time starts now. <laughs> Summertime. Summertime. Porgy and Bess. Porgy and Bess. Next. I'm not too sure, but I think this might be Claire de Lune. Claire de Lune. De Lune. Next. Who's this one? Mocker. Mocker. Mockingbird, Ines and Charlie Fox. Yeah, but we've got the original, but I don't know. Sounds like the original. Next. Yeah. 
Nick Lieberstrom. Yeah, got to sleep. Five seconds left. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. They write more as children. Were they all, all children? No, know. I'm afraid no. you're out of time, no. and I'm going to go over to IT support. Do you want to have a go at the connection? Uh, we think they're all lullabies. Can you identify the actual pieces? Well, first one, Summertime by George Gershwin. Second one, we think, is Listen with Mother Music. Um, then Mockingbird, and I think it's Brahms' lullaby for the last one. You are absolutely correct. They're all lullabies. Summertime, the lullaby from Porgy and Bess. Second piece was actually Foray's Berceurs. Berceurs is the French for lullaby. Slightly rocky James Taylor, Carly Simon cover of the old lullaby Mockingbird and Brahms's lullaby at the end. So one bonus point to you. And you may now choose your own Greek letter. Zeta, please. What lurks behind Zeta? First clue coming up. Your time starts now. Newton. OK, I like that one. Next, I suppose. Next. Oh. Um, but is it Presence of Oxford or Presence of Cambridge? They wouldn't let it be uh, Oxford. Should we go next or should we stick on this? I know, they get another one. OK, right, next. There we are, Archer. Oh, They're all scientists. They're all scientists, but... Is it oh, factor of the chemist? Uh, yeah. The chemist's eyes are the physicist. Well, I'm the kind of astrologer as well. Should we go just they're all scientists? Alchemist, he did alchemist. You're under five seconds now. Oh, yes. They're all scientists. Oh, no. I'm afraid I can't oh. accept that answer. I'm going to show the fourth clue to the cricket supporters. Were they all born in Lincolnshire? Grantham. Grantham, Lincolnshire. All born in Grantham, Lincolnshire. Well, Grantham is a connection between two of them, but not all of them, I'm afraid. Isaac Newton and Margaret Thatcher both grew up in or near Grantham. That's where it ends. Well, I believe Mary Archer does live in the old vicarage Grantchester mm. from the old Rupert Brooke poem. Actually, IT Sport, you're much closer when you said they're all scientists. I'm afraid that's just too loose a definition, not close enough. They all studied chemistry, okay. or chemistry, as it was known in Isaac Newton's day. So, no points on that round, and cricketers, up to you to choose a letter. Delta, please. Delta. It's a picture round. Time starts now. <coughs> next, please. Football ball. Football ball. Adidas. We've got to add the next one. Adidas. Next, please. Mm. That's a fern, isn't it? Is that a silver, silver fern? Simple. 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 It's nicknames of rugby, of, rug, in, of rugby union teams. Should yeah. we take the next one first? Or should we take the next one first? Take the next, next please. Ten seconds. Go for Nick, Dad. Rugby team. Are they all nicknames of rugby union teams? They are not all nicknames of rugby union teams. IT support. Yeah, um, we think they can all have door, as in D-apostrophe-O-R after them. Rose door. Boot, uh, <laughs> palm door and globe door. I'm not sure about boot door, but... Uh... I think having been harsh about the chemistry question, I'm going to give it to you. It's just gold. They're all awards. It's the golden rose of Montreux, the golden boot okay, from the right. Football World Cup, palm door from the Cannes Film Festival and the golden globes. But technically, you can put door in front of all of them if you're translating them into French. So I'm going to give you one bonus point. And it is now up to you to choose a letter. It's not much of a choice, but uh, for formality's sake. Beta, please. Let's see what lies behind Beta. Your time starts now. Next. Ancient capital development. Not uh, they, they didn't have a global warming thing in Mali, did they? No. no. Don't know. Don't Next. Solo? Oh, Solo's in, um... Solo's a place in, uh, Indonesia, but I don't know if that's... Oh, OK. I don't know what... I've got nothing on this one. Could be oh, ancient. Oh, I could be ancient. Solo is Next. Place. Oh. Um, is that... Five seconds. Ancient capitals. Yeah, OK. Uh, ancient capitals. That is not the answer I'm looking for, so over to the cricket supporters. Oh. They're all anagrams of other capital cities of the world. That is absolutely correct. Mali, an anagram of Lima, the capital of Peru. Kyoto, of course, the former imperial capital of Japan. Anagram of Tokyo, then Oslo and Rome. So one bonus point for you, cricketers. And looking at the scores at the end of round one, the cricketers are on three points and IT support also on three points. 
Let's press on with round two, in which the clues are still connected, but this time the teams have to work out the connections first and then tell me what's fourth in the sequence. If you can tell me what comes fourth after seeing just one clue, A, I'll be impressed, B, you'll get five points. If you do it after seeing two clues, you get three points, two points if you see three clues, but you will not see the fourth. You're going to tell me what it is. Cricket supporters, you'll be going first again, so please select a letter. Alpha, please. You're about to see the first in a sequence behind Alpha. Tell me what's fourth. Your time starts now. Let's see. Let's see. Science. Science. Next one, I think. Next, please. Indeed. Oh, gosh. These are Indian. Oh, second, third. Oh, third. Oh, third. Oh, third. Next, next oh, please. And TH. Yeah, TH. 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 Why would it be that? There are two letters to finish the words first, second, third, fourth. Simple as that. TH for fourth, and that means two points to your team. OK, IT support, please pick a letter. Gamma, please. Gamma, you're about to see the first in a sequence, and this is a picture round. Your time starts now. That's a D. That's a very dear. Oh, what's the, uh, oh, dear. 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 Why, it's me. <laughs> and there at the end, far, a road stretching into the distance. As it is, you get three points for getting after two clues. Well done. Cricket supporters, pick a letter. Delta, please. Delta, first in the sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Next. Mm. Next. Oh, God. Say it. Wheat sets these fire. That is a brick, isn't it? It's a pretty weed. Badger. Is there a word that can go before or fire. after any of them? There are words. Oh, oh, yeah, but is there any other words that you can add to them? Fire? fire. fire. No, it doesn't. Settle. Ten seconds. Settle. 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 Go for fire. Wheat stone. Fire. 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 Five fire. seconds. Anything you can think of? Yeah. Time's about to run out. Ooh. Fire. fire. Fire? Yeah. Why would it be that? It's a stab in the dark, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, well, it would be very impressive if it was correct, but I'm afraid it's not, no, so I'm going to go over to IT support. No idea, I'm afraid. We're fox on this one as well. Perhaps the problem is you were doing too much thinking in your heads. If you read them out loud, wheat, set, cease, you might immediately think sank. Oh, it's counting backwards in French oh, from eight yeah. English words that sound like French oh. numbers. IT. Pick a letter. Zeta, please. Zeta, first in the sequence coming up. Good luck. Your time starts now. Oh, that's going to ask me. Huh? This would be the phone numbers one, would it? Mm. Mm. Should we go next? Yeah. Next. Let's go some Andrews. Um, we don't know what to do with the Andrews. Next. Cambridge. 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 Oh, is it the oldest yeah. university? Oh, the, yeah. yeah. So I guess the next one. No, but Oxford's yeah. older than Cambridge. Uh, is it going back? Yeah. I could be going back could be upwards. Back. Yeah, yeah, go for yeah, it. Yeah, go for it. Oxford. Why would it be Oxford? Well, we think they're the fourth, third, second and first oldest universities in Britain. You are absolutely correct. Oh, Glasgow yeah. University established 1451, University of St Andrews 1410, University of Cambridge in 1209. But the oldest is the University of Oxford, established around 1167, and I believe they're thinking now about installing central heating in some of the college rooms. <laughs> Cricketers, up to you to pick a letter. Beta, please. Beta, let's see the first in the sequence. Time starts now. Oh, Next. These are these are two notes. Notes. Right. Yeah, I don't know, but which one? Next one. Next. Next. It's uh, Adam Smith. It's all the twenty. It's pounds. They are twenty pounds. Oh yes. Adam Smith. Adam Smith. Why him? His portrait appears on the back of a twenty pound note. Absolutely correct. They are people who have appeared on twenty pound notes from the nineteen seventies to the present day. Adam Smith, the first Scotsman oh, to appear oh. on British currency. Okay. IT support, again, your choice is not unlimited. 
Epsilon, please. Very good selection. Let's see the first in the sequence. Your time starts now. Oh. Next. Something of. of oh, I don't know. I'm thinking like um, titles of epic films or something like that. Should we go for the yeah. uh, Next. Oh, it's um, Indiana Jones. Yeah. What's his last yeah. one then? Um, Crystal Skulls. Mm. Crystal Skulls. Crystal Skulls. Was so it Skulls or Crystal Skulls? Both. Uh, <clears throat> Crystal Skulls. Or Skulls, if it's just one word. You tease me, <laughs> IT support. Thank with you. How near you dance to the correct answer. Once it's again, I'm going to give Indiana it to you. Jones. It's Skull, not Skulls. They are the Indiana Jones movies in order. Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, The Last Crusade, Kingdom of the Disappointing Anticlimactic Crystal Skull. And I'm going to give you the Thank point you. in the nick of time. <clears> so, <throat> looking at the scores at the end of round two, the cricketers are on seven points, but IT support are on ten points. <laughs> Our teams move on now to an even knottier challenge in the shape of the formidable connecting wall. You'll see that the four clues have mushroomed into 16 clues. You need to put them back into four groups of four. I'll give you a point for each group you can identify. And at the end of the round, there'll be bonus points if you can also spot the connections. You get two and a half minutes. But first, you must choose, because it is now your turn to go first, IT support, which wall, alpha or beta? Alpha, please. The alpha wall. OK, your 16 clues will be coming up. Sort them as best you can. Your time starts now. OK. OK. Um, right, right, musical. Oh, I could be airport. Yes. Stirrups, that's another one, and Tim Parnham, they're all the airports. OK, Anvil, Hammer, Stirrup, Tim Parnham. That's the group. Oh, no, not musical. No, uh, Triangle. They've got Presto, Presto Largo. Oh, no, oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, they're, they're OK. Both. There's mathematical things, Square cube, yes. integral. Uh, irrational. That's square cube, irrational, integral. No, that's square not Square cube, irrational, okay. perfect. Square cube, irrational. Perfect. Please. That's a group. Right, now we've got only two groups right. left. You just have now. three guesses. Yeah. Think and talk oh. before they're all, they're all you choose. Really. Piano is soft. Grave is. Should we go for that? Presto. Yeah. Yeah, I think give it a whirl. You've got loads. Yeah. Yeah. You've solved the grid in phenomenally good time. Were you expecting this to be such a strong round for you? <laughs> Very good stuff. So you're going to get the maximum of four points for identifying those groups. It's now time to move on to what the connections are for possible bonuses. So we'll just look at the big connecting wall up there. And the first group, Stirrup, Tympanum, oh, Anvil, Hammer. Uh, well, they're all parts of the ear, aren't they? Is it the yeah. Yeah, they're all, site, yeah, they're uh, found in, in your ear. In That's your right. Isn't it amazing, correct, by the way, one point, how many clues in triv quizzes relate to parts of the ear? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's always a good one. The yeah. OK, the green group, perfect, square, cube, irrational. Well, they're all terms from mathematics. You perfect. Oh, they're all types of numbers. Perfect number, square, number, cube, number, irrational number. They are all relating to numbers. Can you tell me what a perfect number is? It's a number that's equal to the sum of its factors apart from itself, like 6 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. And 28 is 1 plus 2 plus 7. Exactly plus right. Plus I wish I could give you more <laughs> bonuses for knowing that. Unfortunately, I can't, but you're doing very well. Now, what about this purple group? Presto, piano, largo, grave, or they're possibly all... grave, not to give you any extra clues. They're all around musical directions. Presto is quickly, piano is softly, largo is slowly, and grave, I presume, is very slowly and gloomily, I would imagine. Mm. Very serious. Solemnly, Solemnly, apparently. Right, right. Yes, absolutely correct. Now, what about this last group? Altering, triangle, anagrams. relating, yeah. integral. Yeah, they're all anagrams of each other. Fantastically <laughs> well spotted. I love that clue. Do any of you play Scrabble? Mm, no. Not much, a little bit, not much. They're crosswords? More, I, more I do them. crosswords, yeah. You do yeah. crosswords. I saw the anagram, didn't yeah. I? You saw them there. OK, well, you are going to get four points for identifying all the groups. Four bonus points for telling me the connections, plus an extra bonus two points for getting it all correct. That is a maximum of ten points for the connecting wall. Goodness me, oh. life could be difficult for the cricket supporters. That's a very high score to beat. Let's bring them back in to see if they can compete. It'll be a brand new wall, of course. The wall is going to be scrubbed clean and 60 new clues sprayed upon it. 
Now, team, don't forget, you're sorting this into four groups of four, but some of the clues may fall into more than one category. Think of it like Sudoku. You can just put anything wherever you want, but there's only one correct, perfect solution. Take care. Walk with care. Now, there's no choice for you. You will be getting the beta connecting wall. So, two and a half minutes on the clock. Identify them as best you can. Your time starts now. Sea athlete stare. Forsyth, Higgins, Bannister, Holmes, Conjurer. Tread rise with this part of stairs. Newell. 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 Tread. Rise. Rise and Bannister. That's a group. Right, now let's have a look. Eccles cake, Jaffa cake, Chorley cake, and Banbury. That's another group. Now, with only two groups remaining, you just have three attempts. Don't, yeah. So don't go too fast. Plum, or Plum Warner. And Holmes Moriarty. Well, who else is in there? So we've got writers, haven't we? We've got we've got Jack Higgins. Higgins, Forsyth. Francis Edmonds is a writer. It's Parsons, it's and a writer. Tony Parsons. Did you join him? Yeah, go ahead. What's that? Holmes. Um, so it's Holmes, right? Yes. No, Edmonds. No, no, Sorry, no not Holmes, not right. Higgins, Higgins Edmonds, Edmonds, and Parsons. Parsons. No, that's no. not right. It's oh. not a group. Now, you only have two attempts left. Right. Use them with care. Indiana Jones, right? We've got TV presenters, Nicholas Parsons, Noel Edmonds, yes. Eamon Holmes, Bruce Forsyth. Yes. yes. Well done. Well done. You've solved the connecting well done, yeah. wall. Congratulations. Four points immediately in your pockets. I'm now going to offer you bonus points if you can tell me what connects them. So looking at that first group, Newell Bannister Tread Riser. Can you tell me the connection? It's uh, parts of stairs. That's right, they all are related to stairs. Now, some people might be surprised to see Bannister spelt with two N's. Obviously, we did that as a red herring to try and make you think there were some athletes in there, Holmes, Bannister, but actually it is also a correct variant of a stair Bannister. You can spell it with one or two N's. The next group, cakes. Jaffa, Variety Eccles, cakes. Banbury, Chorley. Varieties of cakes. Varieties of cake. I, myself, I'm disappointed to say I haven't eaten them all. Mm. No, I'm not entirely sure what a chorley cake is, no, but I'd like no. to eat one. Jeff has only just gone down as a cake, hasn't it? it was good with, really? It was down as a biscuit, or really. Yeah, it recently. Some it angry yeah. viewers may be shouting yeah. it's a biscuit, but news <laughs> just in, it is officially now yeah. a cake, so yeah. that's correct. Even Forsyth, Edmonds, no, Holmes, no. Parsons. All the surnames of various television presenters. Yeah. I'd like you to be more specific if you can. Yes, uh, quiz, full side, no, Edmund. quiz show presenters. That's absolutely correct. They are yes. quiz show hosts, yes. the marvellous Bruce Forsyth, yes. on whom I'm attempting to model myself, Noel Edmonds, Eamon Holmes, yes. and the great yes. Nicholas yes. Parsons. Yes. Now, this last group Plum, Moriarty, Indiana Jones, Higgins. Dobbing. Is it? Tricky one, this. Um, um, no, no, no. Higgins. Too. I can't give you a long time to think about it. Right. Should we go to the bones or? It's all now. Okay. I'm afraid you've had too long. I'm going to salute. They are all professors. Oh, Professor no. Plum from Cluedo, yeah. Professor yeah. Moriarty, the yeah. evil arch enemy of Sherlock yeah. Holmes. Indiana Jones, you know, is uh, his official name, yeah. his real name, if a fictional character can have Henry one. Jones. Dr. Henry, Henry Jones, Jones, he is. Professor Higgins. Professor of History and Archaeology at Marshall College, is Indiana Jones, and Professor Higgins, of course, yeah. Yeah. from My Fair Lady. So, you get your four points for identifying the groups, and you get three bonus points for telling me the connections. Mm. So, it's a total of seven points. Okay. <sighs> Let's see how that leaves the overall scores at the end of round three. The cricket supporters are on 14 points, but IT support are on 20 points. Not to worry, cricketers, because there are lots of points available in round four. This is the final decisive round. It's fastest fingers first. It's all about buzzing in and getting as many points as you can before we hit the finish line. This is how it works. We've taken a series of well-known names or phrases and we've removed the vowels from them. Then we've re-spaced the consonants to further disguise the phrases. You've got to tell me what are the disguised terms. The good news is I'm going to tell you the connections right up front. So that bit's easy. You'll get a point for each name or phrase you correctly decipher, but if you get it wrong, I'll throw it over to the other team for a possible bonus. 
So, fingers on the buzzers, I can tell you that the first group of four are all explorers. Uh, Cricket supporters. Roald Amundsen. Correct for one point. Cricketers. Sir Ranulph Foynes. Yes, for another point. Cricketers. Vasco da Gama. Great stuff, one point. Cricketers. And Mary Go Vespucci. You got the whole group alone. The new group is chemicals used at home. Cricketers. Caustic. I'm afraid you've hesitated too long. IT support. Uh, caustic soda. Yes, it is. One point to you. <laughs> IT. Epsom salt. Yes, one point. <laughs> IT. Turpentine. Another point. This is a tough one, I can't... Green. IT. Leaf winter green. I'm afraid that's not correct, oh. cricketers. No, too long. It is oil of winter green. The next group are all beef dishes. Cricketers. Bourguignon. Correct, for one point. Cricketers. Um, oh, God, too long, I'm afraid. On. IT support. Steak au poivre. That is right, for one point. IT. Beef and ale pie? Yes, one point to you. Chili con carne. IT. Chili con carne. That is correct for one point. The next group, Percy Bishelli poems. <laughs> IT. Oak to the West Wind. Yes, it is, one point. Too long. It's the triumph of life. Next clue. Good luck. Too long. It is, of course, Epipsychidion. Next clue. IT. Adonai. Yes, it is for one point. The next group, Nursery Rhymes. I can't give you all night. It's one, two, buckle my shoe. Cricketers. Old King Cole. Yes, it is, one point. Cricketers. Oh, God, Pippi Longstock, no. No, I'm afraid you've lost it, IT. Sorry, Time's up. That last one was Pop Goes the Weasel. Oh, that was that last one, and Pop Goes the Quiz, because we've reached the end and looking at the final scores. Cricket supporters, you've got a very impressive 20 points. No, but tonight's winners enough. are IT support with 28 points. Mm. So it will be IT support that we'll see again in the quarterfinals. And that's it. We'll be back next time with two more teams anxious to engage in a spirited search for missing links and unexpected convergences. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>And there's more from Victoria and Only Connect next Monday. Next tonight, historian David Reynolds examines the history of the end of the Great War in Armistice.